From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Tiger Brands' beverage business, which produces some of South Africa's signature brands, such as Oras, Energade, and Roses, has been focused on expanding its market share and growing its offering in new markets. The company recently hosted a media tour at one of its manufacturing sites, which Molinay Arnoldi attended. Tiger Brands' beverage manufacturing facility in Rudakop, Germiston, has been producing millions of litres a month of its well-known brands in premix and ready-to-drink formats since 2001. The company has, however, recognised that the timing is apt to enter new markets, including the carbonated mixer market and the energy drinks market, which saw the company launching its Roses carbonated mixers and energy drink called Boost in October. Tiger Brands also started producing a zero energy variant, which is free from added sugar in September. Tiger Brands Beverages MD, Ishmael Nanabi, unpacks the growth opportunities for the beverage business and latest product launches. As a category, as a beverage category within Tiger Brands, we have huge opportunities for growth within our existing product portfolio, as well as innovations that we bring to the market. In fact, over the last uh, month, we've uh, launched a new energy drink, entering a very competitive energy drinks category uh, called Energy Boost, as well as into the carbonated soft drink space with a product called Roses Mixes, which is aimed at the social occasion. Um, we've also launched into the health and wellness space through an innovation uh, with Zero Sugar, Energy Zero, uh, which is an innovation that, that has taken a while to come to market, but it, it taps into a growing health and wellness trend around less sugar. Besides from an innovation perspective, there's an opportunity for us to actually grow in different channels and the opportunity lies in the traditional trade. As a brand, Oras, we still have huge opportunity to grow in that market as well as hitting price points for consumers that are relevant uh, to them right now. As we know, consumers are economically cash strapped. So those put all together, we're hoping that over the next five years, we actually double the consumption that we serve to consumers out in the marketplace right now. The company has been investing heavily into its existing production lines at the Rodecorp Beverage Manufacturing Facility in Germiston, with some production lines being fully and semi-automated. For example, the facility's fully automated Energade production line produces about 30,000 bottles an hour. Next, the company plans to invest more than 20 million rand on expanding its raw materials storage warehouse. Tiger Brands will also install solar power at the facility early in the new year as part of a broader Tiger Brands Group Solar Rollout program at 35 of its manufacturing sites across South Africa. The company's investments have paid off in that the beverage business recorded a 7.4% compound annual growth rate between 2017 and 2021. Nanabi tells us more. With investments which are more long term, um, we, we over the last two to three years and then coming into the last year we've invested in automation in, in the factory. So the, the manufacturing line that manufactures Energate for example is a fully automated line, does 30,000 bo bottles per hour. And then we also invested quite heavily at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020 in a new liquid concentrate or dilutables lines which mainly runs over us. This has allowed us to, to get more efficient and unlock more volume, which we could then service the market with. Uh, in the last year, we've actually consolidated a few of our older manufacturing lines into a single uh, semi-automated line. Um, and products that go on there are smaller volume products, but more niche type products. And that also we've invested uh, over the last year, that in fact came in the last year. Looking ahead, uh, we are looking at how do we manage our raw material storage, cold capacity for raw materials and ingredients in-house, and that's something we'll be effectively implementing from quarter one next year, or from February onwards next year, 2023. The last big investment over the next year coming is around solar investment, which is something that Tiger Brands uh, as a company is investing in. The beverages facility is one of four uh, facilities that will roll out solar and that's also planned for 2023 onwards. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.